Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. And this is Asim here. So now I'm back with the app as well as how to use the app. And the app is on Play Store, so go on and download it. I've uh, put a link in the description as well. Also, the source code of the app is on my GitHub, so you could um, like compile it for yourself if you're not sure that what's in that. And like currently, it's using my Firebase, but it's not like that. I could see your messages there. But if you want, you could just replace a JSON file. So all the instructions would be on the GitHub as well. So you could compile lab for yourself with your own Firebase project and all those things. Since Firebase is free for sending notifications. So even if like a thousand users are using or maybe a hundred thousand users are using, so it won't be charged to me. So yeah, anyone could use it for free. So this is a screen recording of the video of the app that I used on the phone because yeah, I couldn't uh, like record from the phone as well as uh, display the screen. So that's why I already recorded how you could use it. So this is the uh, app store link. You could install it. So it's around 10 MB and let's wait for this to get installed. So it's uh, very simple to use and like we don't have to do a lot of things here. Let's open it. So uh, after you open it, you could see that this is your export token loading token. So here the token would be loaded, which would be used to send the notifications. So you could copy the token by clicking on click to copy token, or you could send that token directly to a server. So like since I can not directly copy the token from there and paste into my laptop's clipboard. So I prefer sending it to my bug bounty server where I have, where I have a netcat listener running. That's what I'm going to do here. So I'm running a netcat server here uh, on my bug bounty server and I'm typing the URL here. So HTTP and whatever the URL is. And port number and you could see that uh, I received the token here once I press the send to server button. So now I don't need the app. I could close it and just go through this expo.io slash notifications. Whatever message title you want, whatever message body you want. So ideally what it would be is that once you get the token and this token remains the same as long as you have like not cleaned the data of the app or you have not reinstalled the app. So after you get the token, you could just close it and forget about that. Just don't uninstall it because then you won't get the notifications. And uh, the token can be used with your Python script or maybe curl command or whatever you're trying to send notifications from. I would show all that just after this. So this is, yeah, so this is an online tool from where you could send a notification. So you could see that I got a notification from that. So what I would do is I would like, I would be running a, maybe a scan or master script dot SS that I'm making in my other videos and I would integrate this export token. So once the scan is completed, I would want a notification on my phone so that I could download the zip and I could like start further processing or Another use case could be like if you found something um, like your scanner found something severe or maybe something that you want to be reported, you could integrate that as well. So I would show you the Python command. All these commands are also in the my GitHub repo as well. So if you press the tutorial button on the app, like, like you saw the green buttons, so written tutorial and video tutorial. So video tutorial would be this video's link. And written tutorial is the GitHub page where you would have the instructions and all the Python or the curl commands. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to show a shortcut as to how you could like make the Python command from the curl command and you don't have to type write all that code. This is something that I use in my day to day life when I have to like write a small script and that too fast. So like open the network tab and send a notification here. So you could see the request here. Ensure that you have this disable cache and preserve log enabled so that the request is remains here. Like sometimes what happens is the page refreshes, not just on this website, but on any website, if you want to use this shortcut to create a Python request for that particular command, what you should do is you should enable preserve log and disable cache and then uh, send, press that button or do that action that like triggers that network request. So you could see that this is the post request that was used to send a notification. So I would right click on this and copy as curl so that I get a curl request for this. Then I would open a website curl trill works. So 
Yeah, so first I'm trying to send the, like, just to verify that I have copied the right curl command, I would try to send from the terminal. So I'm sending a notification again, and you could see that I'm getting the notification on my phone. So now that I've ensured that I have copied the right curl command, I would go to, like, curl trillworks is a website uh, where you could, like, copy the curl command and you could get a Python request or maybe whatever language you want. So you just need to, like, let me reverse a bit so this is the website i would paste the link of this as well in the description so then you just paste the curl command it would convert it into python and other languages are also supported like go or maybe js if you want that so i'm just trying to show that the python command also works here so just paste it there and run python whatever file name you had so it's quite easy and quite handy i do this a lot of time That's that. Just change the export token with whatever token you have and whatever message title, these all could be like auto generated from whatever automation script you are using. And that's pretty much sorted about this. You could change the language Go or maybe JS to convert the language. So just copy the curl command and you could do that all. Yeah. So this is the repo and here's the code for the app. So if you want to compile it for yourself, I have not written the whole instructions here, but I intend to do that very soon. And if you want, I could show or I could make a video for how you could compile it for yourself. So if you are using your own Firebase, the only file that you need to change is this Google services.json. So this JSON file you would get from your Firebase itself. And then like instead of my Firebase app project, you could, it could use your Firebase project. So that's pretty much about this. Another announcement and I'm quite excited about this is like I'm soon gonna launch my own app about cyber security and stuff. So this is the website. So it's like it's in testing phase almost everything is done. So yeah, so this is the website, the launch page I would say. It's HTTPS, yeah. <laughs> so, so these are some of the screenshots so what's the app is for like you could get all the security news as well as all the bug bounty tips so like if you have missed something you like you won't miss any of the bug bounty tips and it's curated with all the tags and stuff like like i am manually hand curating all these since i am myself looking at bug bounty tips so i like i know what the tags and all those things are so you could see that there's a shodan cv nuclear tags and just not the tags, like the tags are beneficial because you could use the search itself to like run these. So you could search for whatever tags, like if you are doing a, um, like suppose if you are running a target and you are trying to find XSS, so you might want that you have all the XSS bug bounty tips at your hand. So you could just go press the search button and like tap the XSS and do a search on and you could get all the XSS tips that we have in the repository. So it, it would be launched maybe next week, by next week. So it would go through a review process on Play Store and all those things. So, so you could click and notify me and the backend would send a notification mail to you that okay, we have registered you. And once the app is live, you could download it from the Play Store. There would be a like download link or button here as well. As well as I would also be announcing on my Discord or Telegram, Reddit and all those things. I, I was trying to also add a video of the running app, so I would do it maybe tomorrow. And this feedback is if you think like you want something to be included here. So it's the beta version and a lot of things need to be added here. Like here you could also get the CTF things and in later version I am also intending to uh, like add tutorials in itself and maybe job postings and all those things. So everything security, OmniSec basically, everything secured. So like, you don't have to go to any other website or any other app to find anything more. So that's pretty much all. Go check out the app. Thanks. Thanks a lot everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video.